So hey, what's going on there guys? Just had to find a little safe place to pull over and get kind of synced up here. We'll come back in a little minute instead of let some of these cars go by. YouTube so we are back and roaring how's everybody doing hope you guys are doing well just to date this it's April 20th I usually don't date my videos anymore I just kind of I just record them and I put them up and the reason being is I don't know I just don't really find much interest in it, and I don't think I, uh, I'm kind of bad with dates, too. Kind of bad with the days, <laughs> mainly because of my schedule. <laughs> uh, so anyway, today's topic, uh, where do you think is the best place to meet a significant other? Now. So I'll start it off with, uh, I'll tell you where my wife and I met. Of course, uh, you know, we're married. Um, you know, we didn't start off that way. <laughs> uh, but, um, yeah, so where I met my wife uh, was on this website called Black Planet. Uh, basically, online dating. And I've done a vlog about this before, so I'm not going to get too much into it, but... You know, we, I had saw her on there and I had sent her a couple messages. I've met a few people off of that site. I've met a few people off of a few other dating sites also. But um, anyway, we, we met and we went to go out and have a little bite to eat. And it was kind of a nice platform because you, you set up your page and you can put your pictures of yourself on there and you know others could put their pictures of themselves on there and uh, kind of was a good way to meet people maybe not everybody's thing but um, it was a it was a it was a nice way to get out meet people and um, you know it, it'll be either a hit or a miss you know Maybe not all the time that it was a positive that you'd find somebody. And sometimes you'd find some, some people and it just really wouldn't work out. But um, they had a Spanish version to that one. It was called Mi Gente. But then they also had some... Um, they also had some, some dating sites which were by phone. And you could leave that... You know, leave a message or like a recorded message and people would hear your message and you could kind of meet people like that. Now, I thought those were the worst. I, I just didn't care for those. Uh, another way I like to meet people, I'd like to, I'd go out with the friends. Uh, sometimes we'd go to a, we go to, we didn't really go to bars much, but we would go to a nightclub. But I felt nightclubs were the worst places to meet a female. I, I, you know, for me meeting a female, I, I don't know about females meeting a guy, but I felt, for me, that was the worst place. Now, somewhere that I thought was actually uh, a good place was, um, oh man, like jazz clubs. Anywhere like that, or, or like, not really a comedy show, because that's, that's the focus and the tension is, is a little bit different. But um, like a jazz club where there's a little bit of music going on, maybe like a little bit of a poetry, poetry type thing. And sometimes, is there's if there's a couple of you you could actually meet someone oh you could actually meet someone and have like a decent 
conversation and you know you never know where things will go depending on you and a person but um yeah i always found that to be another nice place to meet people so um yeah i'd love to hear what are you guys' favorite places to meet people you know if you're out there and you're trying to look for love or where did you meet your significant other you know um i've also thought another one of the great places to meet someone is believe it or not freaking at work <laughs> the one place where we hate to go you could end up finding love you know and i think that's always great you know you work with somebody and you, you get to know them there's a little bowling alley over here you guys like bowling alleys we've had a lot of birthday parties here really nice place but i think that's another one another place that's really uh, a nice place to meet people and um, I know probably not everybody's thing but but it, uh, you can actually really make some nice connections there and, and I don't know you just never know sometimes it just happens even with just the co-worker hanging out thing you know a lot of stuff happens like that I think so maybe some people <laughs> don't believe it but it's true you know I've been in a work relationship before personally I wouldn't do that again now I'm well, married but you know um, after I did that and I wasn't married I just really didn't do it I didn't I didn't get into that I didn't go near that I was just like I want nothing to do with anyone I work with <laughs> I was like no thanks because I always felt like you know if things when things went bad if things went bad I should say I should say if because things don't always go bad but in that case with that relationship you know things went bad and it turned into one of those things where I was like, uh, I just didn't want to see her. 215 for regular. Huh, not that bad. But uh, it, yeah, it turned into one of those things where I really just didn't want to see her. Um, she didn't want to see me. We didn't want to talk to each other. It, it, it was kind of disgusting. Yeah, it just, it really wasn't cool. We're going to jump on a highway here. Uh, I think we could get it up to we'll get it up to about 65 which is uh, 70 on my Odo no actually no it's not it's 75 on my odometer so eh, actually let's take it up to 65 faster I'm at like 75 or oh, I think right 35 I can't even see yeah 72 oh my god mm. yeah just gotta lean back that's not a lot of fun my fifth gear nope here we go that's fifth oh <laughs> Woo! it's still fun <laughs> This is probably a lot of weight. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm going way too fast. Let me slow down. <laughs> yeah, I'm going a little too fast for my own good. <laughs> Woo! Yeah man, these stars got a lot of power, man. A lot of power. I really don't ride. Uh, full throttle often <laughs> I do a lot of quick blips like I like to call them you know just kind of fun uh, fun quick blips uh, just quick full throttles and then I shut it off but uh, yeah that was fun <laughs> uh, great for like one exit <laughs> hey you want to get on the highway and go one exit yeah man <laughs> Oh man, that was fun. Yeah, not too bad. I moved the I moved my backrest back a little bit. That way I'll be a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, so I look forward to seeing your comments below about your favorite places to meet someone. I'm gonna head up to the hardware store here. 
head up to the hardware store here. I need to get some, uh, I want to see if I see those bolts in, what the freak was it? What was it called? You guys are suggesting. Uh, I know Bruce NH suggested uh, uh, neoprene, I believe, right? Is that right? Did I say that right? Neoprene? I probably really should be on the right side of that lane. No, actually, I don't like that side. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get to. Look at that guy looking right at his phone. Not looking where he's going, but looking at his phone. Crazy. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get some neoprene. See if I can get some neoprene washers and get those to fit in there. Um, the Mercedes Benz rolling with a spare tire. Come on now. Oh, now you're losing it buddy get it together get it together get it together buddy yeah so I figure I'll head up here and see if I can get a few of those neoprene washers I can try and see how they work out I don't know how they're gonna work but we'll see Anyway, uh, yeah, family's good. Everybody's good. How are you guys doing? How's your families? Hope your families are good. If you've made it this far in a video, all right? I don't know how long I've been recording, but I've been recording for a while. But you know what? I figure with a lot of you guys that are at home and uh, you don't really have much to do, I figure you probably would enjoy a little video little longer video right right I would think so right wouldn't you don't tell me you wouldn't because you're lying <laughs> uh, not like you got not like you got a whole lot of places to go to right so yeah did I turn in the right place I dang nabbing sure it did you know what I'm gonna go this way so I can make a safe u-turn that car was right behind me. Alrighty. There we go. Alrighty. That rear shock makes a lot of noise. Alrighty. Yeah. I didn't realize where the heck I was going. Turned into the wrong place. It's crazy. So I got a little bit of yard work to do. I actually wasn't going to take the take the bike, but then it was like I look out the window and I see the sun shining. And I'm just like why would I not take the bike again? I was gonna take the van, because I have the van, but I was like, man. I'm like, why not take the bike? You know what I mean? So I get these little bolts and little nuts and stuff like that. I get them from up here and Ace True Value. That's one of my favorite places to get those types of things. You know what's crazy? During this whole pandemic, right? You think that a lot of people would be like, oh, I'm cooking from home, I'm not buying food from here or there. Man, that McDonald's line and the Burger King line has been crazy. Like, there's more people going to McDonald's and Burger King than ever before. <laughs> it's, it's nuts, man. I don't know. I'll try to. I guess you can't really try to make sense of it. It just is what it is, you know what I mean? It's just what it is. So anyway, I'm gonna run in here and see if I find these Neo pre washers. <clears throat> and uh I don't know if I'm gonna film another vlog. I probably just I probably just end up cruising home. I mean I've got like six or seven videos already as it is to to upload you know 
I get off on this side because I know someone's gonna ask. Someone always does. This is easier with the backrest for some reason. I don't know why. It's a lot easier than getting off on the left side. Anyway, um, all right, well, thank you for watching. See you guys later. All right, bye, bye.